Today, I will demonstrate how to calculate your body mass index BMI using Excel. Let's get started. We are first going to be converting height in inches and feet to meters and weight in pounds to kilograms. This enables us to collect height and weight using the commonly used units in the United States. So, on the left here, we have our feet, inches for our height, and pounds for our weight. We want to convert our height into meters and our weight into kilograms. To calculate these, we can use the convert function twice in a single function. Let's highlight the cell where we want our converted height to appear, which is F5 in this example. Start off by pressing the equals key to indicate we want to start a function. Now let's type our function, which is convert, and select it. Then click on the cell that contains the feet measurement we want to convert. In this case, it's cell B5. We now want to add a comma. As you can see, Excel offer us a list of different conversions. We want to convert feet to meters, so we will add FT in quotation marks. The FT represents feet. Again, let's add a comma. Now we want to tell Excel what we want to convert our number into. Excel again offers us a list of different potential conversions. We want to convert our number to meters, so we will add M in quotation marks, which represents meters. Let's now add a closing bracket, but we're not done there. We want to also convert the inches, and this can be done all within this function. So let's add a plus symbol, followed by typing in convert again and selecting it. Then click on the cell that contains the inches measurement we want to convert. In this case, it's cell C5. We now want to add a comma. Again, Excel offer us a list of different conversions. We want to convert inches to meters, so we will add in in quotation marks. The in represents inches. Again, let's add a comma. Once again, we want to tell Excel what we want to convert our number into. We want to convert our number to meters, so we will add M in quotation marks, which as we know represents meters. Let's now add a closing bracket. Just to cover that function, the initial convert function takes values in feet and converts them to an equivalent measurement in meters. The second converts values in inches and converts them to an equivalent measurement in meters. Let's now hit enter and you're done. The two values are added together to find the total height in meters. In order to determine the weight in kilograms, we will use the convert function once again in cell G5. So let's start off by pressing the equals key to start a function. Now let's type our function, which is convert and select it. Then click on the cell that contains the pounds measurement we want to convert. In this case, it's cell D5. We now want to add a comma. We want to convert pounds to kilograms, so we will add LBM in quotation marks, which represents pounds. Again, let's add a comma. Once again, we need to tell Excel what we want to convert our number into. This time, we want to convert to kilograms. Can you guess what the short code is for kilograms? KG? Correct. Let's add KG in quotation marks and add a closing bracket. Let's now hit enter and you're done. After we have all the conversation complete, we can now finally apply the standard BMI formula here in cell H5. Start as always by typing the equals key. Select our converted weight here in cell G5, followed by the forward stroke, which represents divide in Excel, followed by selecting our converted height here in F5. We want to square the height to complete the BMI calculation. This is easy to achieve in Excel. We can use the caret operator in Excel to calculate the square of a height. So let's add the caret, which you should see on the number six key on your keyboards. To type it, hold down shift while pressing the six key. Hit the enter key and there we have it. Our BMI is calculated. If you found this tutorial helpful, give my video a like. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and join our online community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.